Hi, hello everyone. How are you? Welcome to another videos for MRCS exam. And this is the question and answer session. So here the question. First of all, read the question. A 73 years old man present with symptoms of mesenteric ischemia as a fight of diagnostic workup. A diagnostic angiograph is performed. The radiologist is attempting to cannulate the celiac celiac axis from the aorta. At which of the following vertebral level does this is usually originate? So after reading, uh, now we have to find out the key point here. So here we can see uh, they want to know which of the vertebral level. So this point, which vertebral level that the cilius axis of the aorta located? We had the options. The options are thoracic ten vertebral level, lumbar two, lumbar three, thoracic eight, and thoracic. 12 vertebral level so we have to find out one of the five options here which is the correct that means at which vertebral level the celiac celiac axis usually located so here in this picture we can see this, this is the large vessel and this large vessel is the aorta or abdominal aorta and we can see the here the anterior branch this is the celiac trunk or celiac branches it arises from the abdominal aorta and we can see some other structure arising from the abdominal aorta and abdominal aorta this is one of the most important topics for MRCS exam and it has several branches such as the anterior branch, posterior branch, lateral branch and terminal branches so all the branches will have to be remembered for MRCS exam so in this picture here we can see this is the abdominal aorta which lies in front of the vertebra and here we can see this blood vessel arising from the abdominal aorta this is the celiac trunk and we can see this level this level is thoracic 12 level and we can see just below the uh, celiac trunk there is a structure and this structure is pancreas and just below the pancreas there are two uh, other structures such as the superior mesentery artery so the superior mesentery artery this also arises from the abdominal aorta so in this picture this is another picture they are also showing this is the abdominal aorta and here this is the diaphragm and posteriorly this is the vertebral column and the aorta it lies in front of the vertebral column and here we can see the different branches of the abdominal aorta among them this is the celiac artery and here we can see this is the celiac artery or celiac tract and this level is the thoracic 12 vertebral level so in the another picture this picture uh, in this picture we can see this is the this is the abdominal aorta and the sum of the anterior branch such as the celiac trunk superior mesenteric artery and inferior mesenteric artery and these three branches they are the anterior branch and among them the celiac trunk it arises this 12 vertebral level on the other hand we can see the superior mesenteric artery it lies at the level of the lumbar one vertebra and inferior mesenteric artery it arises at the level of the lumbar three vertebra so this three level usually very very important first of all the celiac trunk is at the vertebral level 12 then superior mesenteric artery it is lumbar one level then inferior mesenteric artery it is lumbar three level and other branches of the abdominal aorta also important here we can see two terminal branches one is the right common iliac another one is the left common iliac and also here we can see the lateral branches here the lateral branch there are four pairs of lateral branch first of all this is the inferior phrenic then middle suprarenal then uh, renal and gonadal so these four these four arteries they are the lateral branch of the abdominal aorta and uh, last of all the posterior branch posterior branch here you can see this is the median sacral artery and here the lumbar first second third and fourth lumbar artery so they are the branches of the abdominal aorta and this picture this is the one of the most important picture for mrcs exam and it will help a lot for future mrcs exam regarding the abdominal aorta thank you all